okay here you can see i am trying to tell you about double ep rom so what are the problems with ep rom uh, we had the problem of erasing uh, we have to take the ic out from the circuit expose it to uv radiation and then put it back uh, uh, put it back to the circuit after writing with some other content so that is cumbersome uh, we don't want that secondly it was a global erase it means like uh, if uv radiation will come it will erase all the part of the memories we can't specifically target a particular bit so those two problems now will be handled by double ep rom okay uh, double ep rom means electrically erasable programmable read only memory here we will be using flotox transistor which is a variation of famos transistor flotox means floating gate tunneling oxide mosfet as the name suggests you will see here you can see there is a bend in the floating gate towards drain side okay rest of the structure is similar to famos but there is a bend here i have shown it in a very exaggerated manner but uh, don't think in such a big fashion it will be very small just to zoom in i i showed you in this fashion okay the control gate is as it is n plus n plus p substrate source drain this is a flotox transistor now we'll be using this for the uh, making of double ep rom means like the rom structure this is a transistor we'll be using what is the benefit we are getting by bending this floating gate you can see here there are two versions means like two uh, working i will uh, tell you first is when you will apply high control gate voltage for short duration and low drain source voltage let's say 5 volt and 20 volt what will happen charges will come from the drain side and go to the ox uh, floating gate okay they are they will tunnel to this floating gate because you have very less um, uh, thickness here compared here compared to here right so from within the small uh, means if you will apply a high voltage for small duration itself the charges will be able to go into the floating gate and it will distribute here so you will get something called logic zero now exactly similar to what you had in famos here you will have a threshold voltage will increase since there is a negative charge so it will become positive divided by capacitance capacitance is between this control gate and this floating gate there is a capacitance uh, there are a lot more details i am not going into i am just giving you a feel of how how things will be working threshold voltage will be let's say 7 volt now opposite to this there is another working here you can see if you will apply low control gate voltage and drain source voltage if you will high, apply high for short duration of time the negative charges will come back to the drain side or to the substrate you can think of okay here you can see it's think of it as a uh, threshold voltage is 3 volt and logic 0 it is state when i say vcg is equal to 5 volt or vcg is equal to 20 volt that is with respect to ground okay ground means mostly source will be ground only right and drain source voltage so you can see if you are applying high <coughs> control gate voltage low drain source voltage you are able to achieve logic zero and if you will apply reverse means high drain source voltage and low control gate voltage you will get logic one that is what i am trying to tell you so what you are getting is you are able to electrically program this this uh, transistor right keeping in logic one means you are erasing it keeping in logic 0 means you have programmed it to logic 0 by default it will be in logic 1 state whenever wherever you have to uh, perform the programming there you will make it make them logic 0 this is the process of uh, programming the the flotox transistor and this we will be using in our memory and how you gonna read it the reading process is same as what you have seen in the ep rom that i will tell you but uh, uh, hopefully things are clear it's only two things you have to remember if you apply high voltage uh, here and low voltage here you will achieve logic zero as you will get logic one right so uh, this is about the transistor now this is the programming part and uh, erasability is same like uh, removing the charges from the floating gate to uh, coming back to substrate or drain you can think of right so this is the logic one or uh, you can say that erasability electrically erasing you are er erasing the uh, uh, floating gate 
uh, electrically okay uh, once the charges will reside inside this floating gate it can stay there for 5 6 7 years until you will uh, erase it right so you should be knowing that so hopefully the uh, the name is giving you uh, a good feel uh, similarly you can see floating gate tunneling oxide means uh, the through this, this this oxide this in in between you have oxide right around this uh, ton floating gate so electrons or charges get tunneled through this oxide to floating gate that's why it is called as you can think of uh, flotox or floating gate tunneling oxide mosfet right so how you gonna read it now i'll tell you which is similar to what you have seen before now how you gonna perform the reading process uh, it is similar to famos only you apply a voltage at control gate between vt0 and vt1 if you will get any current you apply let's say this voltage 5 volt this is 5 volt this is 3 volt imagine this is 7 volt imagine and if you are applying 5 volt and you are getting a current means it is logic 1 it is it has stored logic 1 and if you will not get any current means it has stored logic 0 that's how uh, that's how you will get to know means like one will be on and one will be off means uh, that's how you will be getting the reading the 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 data once once the memory is programmed so hopefully it is getting you the same vibe as famous transistor now i'll be showing you how to uh, make a, a memory structure or grid like structure using uh, this uh, this flotox transistor there are some changes in the arrangement that you will see in ep double ep rom now here what i'm trying to show you is how you want to use the flotox transistor so symbol for flotox transistor is this you have a bend a slight bend in the, in the floating gate as you have seen in the uh, the structure which i showed you initially so these all four are representing flotox transistor blue ones means they are programmed to zero black one means they are programmed to one so you basically stored one zero 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 at four is there and you have uh, instead of one word line you have two word lines here right How, why why two word lines are there for each cell this is one cell okay another cell one cell another cell so for each cell you are having two transistors one is flotox transistor and one is normal mos transistor this is called select transistor and for this reason only you are having another word line so select transistor means they are selecting a particular cell okay they are helping in selecting a particular cell if this transistor will not be there this um, select transistor it will be similar to flash memory uh, because while erasing what will happen if you will try to erase this thing whole column will get erased because you will not be having select transistor which is which will happen in flash um, memory that will be a kind of global erase so to avoid that if you have to target a specific bit you need a select transistor this word line will select this guy this word line will select this guy and this vdd will get connected to this okay so in this in these three via these three signals this cell will be selected if you have to select this guy what you have to do you have to provide a signal in those both these word lines w2 w2 dash and you have to provide the signal here vdd so it will select this one right specifically and mind you when you are choosing this row whole particular row means uh, row means you are applying high signal to w1 w1 dash at the same time you have to keep w2 and w2 dash zero right to uh, means you are you are not interested in other rows you are interested in this row and whichever cell you are interested in where there you will apply vdd okay uh, I, uh, here i am showing you vdd is applied to both of them but vdd will apply to with some resistance to a particular <coughs> resistance just to show you i have i have connected it okay so in that way you can focus on one cell now you can see if you have to uh, if you will keep w1 w1 dash is equal to logic 1 logic 1 uh, they may not be same voltage okay because nmos is having normal threshold voltage 1 or 2 volt and this is your uh, uh, flotox transistor right flotox transistor may be having 3 volt of or 7 volt of uh, threshold so this w1 and w1 dash will have will not be having same voltage 
but I am representing it with logic one. Uh, I am calling it as activating these two transistor, right? And at the same time, what will happen? R R W two and W two dash will be zero. Means you are not selecting these guys. You can imagine lot more rows and columns, but I am just showing you are uh, giving you a picture of uh, two cross two type. If you apply VDD to a specific NMOS, either this or this, you can select a particular cell. Why you gonna uh, select a particular cell to erase it? Okay. If you have to erase this particular cell only, what you will do? You will uh, activate this cell by applying specific voltages to W1, W1 dash, and VDD, and you can apply high voltage uh, to uh, VD. Uh, the drain source and uh, low voltage to gate uh, so so that you'll you'll uh, clean this means like you will you will uh, unprogram it or you can say the charges will come out of your floating gate we have seen it right if you will apply reverse volt uh, vgs less vds high then charges come back to a substrate or it will go to control gate but if you if you have to program it you have to apply high voltage at gate and low voltages drain source right so i'm assuming that we have programmed it already and we have fixed one zero 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 here if you have to erase this you can target a particular cell that's what i'm trying to say now how you gonna read it uh, let's say you you have to read these guys then you 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 put um, uh, high signal at w1 w1 dash you don't provide any signal here logic zero and you program uh, provide VDD here, VDD here. If you provide, what will happen? You can see uh, he, here. Since you are applying, uh, you will apply some voltage uh, at W1. Voltage will be between three volt to seven volt, right? Let's say five volt you are applying. Five volt you are applying. So this is programmed to logic zero, right? This is programmed to logic one. So this guy will be on. This guy will be off. If this guy will be off, VDD will come here. And you will have here zero right? after not gate and from here you will get a zero right here zero zero will give you one so what you stored one you stored zero you stored you are getting one and zero and by applying w1 dash w1 dash is equal to uh, let's say one volt only because that's the threshold voltage of this nmos what will happen uh, these transistors will get activated and via this w1 these transistor will get activated and accordingly this line will have either zero or VDD coming here, right? Similarly, if you have to access these two guys, what will happen? <coughs> you can see W2, you will apply some voltage like five volt. You have to apply it in between. W2 dash will be around uh, one volt now. So this guy will be activated via W2 dash. This guy will be uh, activated via W2. But since the threshold voltage will be high around seven volt, this will not be on this will not be on they both will be off if they both will be off one will come here vdd will come here vdd will come here and ultimately you will get zero zero so you have stored zero zero and you are reading zero zero right so that's how uh, it you will have to read i hope you are getting the feel you can imagine this extend this idea to multiple columns and multiple rows and uh, hence you will be able to understand the reading process and programming process you are already aware of if you have to apply uh, program it to logic zero you have to apply high gate source voltage and low drain source voltage for a short period of time and if you have to uh, erase it you you means yeah, you have to make it one you have to apply uh, reverse voltage means like drain source voltage is high and gate voltage less uh, and also you can see there it is less dense means uh, per cell it is consuming two transistor which is uh, not good <laughs> but um, since you are able to erase one particular cell which you are not able to do in EPROM that functionality you have right now and you don't have to provide any UV radiation and all you can just by applying the voltages you can either erase it or program it that's what electrically erasable and programmable means right and uh, it's a ROM because once you will make it uh, you can you can use it for some time and then you if you want to reuse again you you uh, erase it and then reprogram with some other data reuse again writing speed will be less than uh, uh, reading speed reading speed will be high that's what that's what it makes um, uh, raw it is a, as a ROM okay 
so hopefully um, this gives you a much better picture and uh, there are a lot more details i am just not giving you uh, enough content but just i want you to be clear about what this thing is uh, although there is a lot more detail in in vlsi if you will study these things okay